this is kind of funny. This is not something you normally see um, on Steam. Um, you'll see this on a lot of like uh, mobile apps, uh, like take Google Play or whatever. You know, you'll see developers address negative feedback, negative reviews, and and uh, throw a response in there or something. But you don't normally see this on Steam. This is kind of wild. And um, it was just something that Tim Wynn had found and thrown to me. So I was just like, I wanted to bring this up, talk about it real quick. Bethesda is responding to negative Starfield reviews on Steam. Absolutely bizarre. If you ask me, this is just a tweet from somebody, though. And despite media attention, this hasn't stopped. The last response is from today. And this was on November 27th. But I mean, if you look at these, it's like um, from Bethesda. Thank you for taking time to provide the, uh, your review, and we are sorry to hear that you were disappointed with encountering many loading screens while playing. While there may be loading screens in between fast traveling, just consider the amount of data for the expanse of gameplay that is procedurally generated to load flawlessly in under three seconds. We believe that shortcoming will not hinder our players from getting lost in the world we created. And look at look at this flipping paragraph, dude. Are you like trying to convince people that the game's good? After they leave a review? What is this? That is so weird. <laughs> we are sorry that you do not like landing on different planets and are finding many of them empty. Some of Starfield's planets are meant to be empty by design, but that's not boring. When the astronauts went to the moon, there was nothing there. They certainly weren't bored. <laughs> the intention of, of Starfield's exploration is to invoke a feeling of smallness in players and make you feel overwhelmed. You can continue to explore and find worlds that do have resources you need or hidden outposts to look through. And then the default underneath it. Again. Jesus Christ. You can fly, you can shoot, you can mine, you can loot. Starfield is an RPG with hundreds of hours of quests to complete characters to meet. Most quests will uh, also vary on your character's skills and, and decision, massively changing the outcome of your playthrough. Try creating different characters with backgrounds and characteristics that clash or, or are a positive of your previous character. You will feel like you are playing a totally different game. Put points and different skills from a character you've pre previously created and... You are now faced with completely different decisions to make and difficulties to encounter. There's so many layers of Starfield. You will find things you've never knew were possible after playing for hundreds of hours. What is this? Here's the difference. What's what's weird, what makes this really weird is that most of the time, whenever you see reviews on something like Google Play or whatever, or something like that, another review site, and a developer tries to to address a, a like a negative type review or something you know they'll say thank you for the feedback um you know it'll be something short and concise more along the lines of we appreciate you trying out our title um we appreciate the feedback we'll try to take that into consideration for some of the things that we're doing moving forward or you know if it is something that they uh maybe the game player might have missed or something, you know, exactly. You know what I mean? It's something like that as a opposed to what Bethesda is apparently doing here, which is having people reply and try to convince these reviewers that the game's already great. <laughs> this is weird, man. You know what I mean? This is kind of weird. So I I would I would agree that this is this is an odd flipping deal here man. Uh odd odd thing to read and uh it's a, it's a weird look from Bethesda. Specifically this is coming from Bethesda customer support, the same team to ask banned Fallout 76 players to write an essay to get unbanned. Until media picked it up and they stopped. I remember that. <laughs> the first Bethesda hasn't made a game as good as Skyrim changed my mind. I mean, it, you know, I don't know. I'm not going to get into that. Look, man, to each their own. There are a lot of people that love the Bethesda recipe, dude, and that's fine. I'm cool with that. You know, now I personally don't really care to play, you know, 
like space fallout. It's just, I don't, I mean, I think that's for the most part what this is going to be. And it just doesn't appeal to me much, you know? Um, I know, I know I've, I've, re- I've talked to a lot of people that are like, eh, it's not that great. I've talked to a lot of people that are like, oh yeah, it's really cool. I like, I like it a lot. It just doesn't appeal to me much. I don't, I'm, I'm not going to like provide any kind of sentiment on whether I think the game's going to be really, you know, the game's great or, or, or not great or whatever. Cause I haven't played it, you know? Yeah. Yeah. And I think that's the thing that's, that's funny is there are a lot of people, uh, I've had a couple of, of, you know, videos that we've talked about this in the news where I've posted them on YouTube and but pe- do people go at it about this game? There's not a lot of middle ground. It doesn't feel like there's not a lot of people that are like, yeah, it was okay. People either love it or people hate it. And do they, th- there's, they'll go at each other about it too. It's really funny. I think that it's, um, you know, I think it's the Bethesda recipe is what it is. I think there's, you know, it's a more modern take on the Bethesda recipe, but it is, it's the Bethesda recipe, you know, it's what I think it is. I can't tell you that explicitly because I don't have experience playing the game. It's not something I care to dive into really, you know, it just, it doesn't, as far as uh, over other games that I want to play right now, I guess anyways, it doesn't mean I won't ever play it or anything. You know, but, uh, I have, I have friends that like, that have been playing this game. I have one friend in particular that's like, dude, I love it. I can't quit playing it. You know? And I'm like, oh, that's great, dude. I love, you know, I love to hear that. I'm not going to knock somebody for loving it. You know what I mean? (laughs) That's cool. That's cool. It just doesn't really appeal to me right now. And, um, you know, I'm, I'm happy for the people that have been enjoying it, but you know, it's not everybody's jam, dude. And I understand why, too. I understand why. This is weird, though. This is weird.